Hello everybody, Craig here from the Game Glass team, and I just wanted to do a quick demo for everybody to showcase how different tablets perform with the Game Glass application. Um, this is a question that we get a lot, and because I've got so many tablets here, I figured why not show you how all of them work under different circumstances. So right now, what I've got here is a the new generation Kindle Fire 10. And then over here is the Kindle Fire 8. I believe this is a few years old. And then we've got the Kindle Fire 7. So the lowest spec version right here. As you can see, right now I've got the combat shard up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, the responsiveness of a couple different components, um, how navigation works, and then I'm gonna go up the ladder in terms of performance from these tablets to some different tablets. Um, so to start, we're going to show you the, uh, the lowest performing tablet, which would be the Kindle Fire 7 here, which is the least spec as well. Um, as you can see, if we move around this capacitor triangle, you can definitely tell that there's some lag there as we move it around. Um, and then you click reset and you can see it takes a couple seconds there. Next, I will go switch to turrets. As you can see, there's a tiny bit of a lag there between the two. Um, you can see when I press a button and it changes state to the other state, how that works, and the responsiveness of a button itself when you press it. And then we can also try toggle over here and you can see the responsiveness there. So let's move over to the Fire 8 now and we'll do the same thing. So we'll try the capacitors. As you can see, it's a little bit better. Reset and then we'll switch over tabs here little bit quicker. We'll begin a scan. As you can see, that state changes quicker. We'll try pressing just a regular button. You can see the effects and the toggle. A little quicker there as well. Uh, the next one over here is the Kindle Fire 10, the new generation one. And as you can see, the capacitor's triangle is quite a bit more responsive. Still a little bit slow. And then we can switch tabs. That's definitely a little bit better. You can see the scanning happens quite a bit quicker. And then our button effects, you can see that happens right away. Our toggles, good performance there as well. So those are the baseline uh, Kindle Fires. And I know there's a Black Friday sale coming up, so this is probably really relevant right now. So I wanted to give you a demonstration on how these different Fire tablets worked under different circumstances there. Um, one of the biggest pitfalls of these devices is probably navigation between shards, which we're constantly optimizing, um, but I can give you a quick, quick rundown on that as well. So if we go back to the GG menu here, and then we'll switch over to Avionics, we'll do that there. So you can see it takes a couple seconds there to load, and then we'll do the same with the 8, switch over to Avionics here as well. Takes a couple seconds, and then the 10. Switch over to avionics. A little bit quicker. Okay, so those are the Kindle devices. Now, I want to do a comparison of the top performing Kindle device, which is this 10 here. And what I'll do is I'll shuffle some tablets around. And we'll compare this to an older Samsung Tab S2. This device here is running Android 7 and it cannot be upgraded further. I believe it's 2015. So it's quite an old device. Um, I do like the display on it more than the Kindle. It's a lot brighter. Samsung makes good screens. Um, so there's definitely that. So let's do the same comparison we just did again. And we'll go over to combat. Okay. So We'll move the capacitors over here on the Samsung. And as you can see, not great performance. And what you also notice is there's some glitching that happens on this device. That's because Android 7 is quite an outdated model or uh, version of Android. Um, and the problem with that is you're only able to update your, your browser, which is actually what we use to render game glass. Um, you're only able to upgrade it to a certain point. So a lot of the modern web technology that we use um, sometimes gets left behind. So that's why you'll see weird glitches and slow performance on these devices is because it's not optimized for uh, modern web technology. So click on reset. 
and we'll go to turrets a little bit so you can see some artifacting there on the SVGs um, and then we'll do begin scan that's pretty snappy decoys and ESP toggles work pretty good and the shard switching Shard switching here looks actually quite a bit better than uh, the fire tablets, definitely. So we'll go back there and we'll go to, oh right, it is 1024, back to combat. Okay, and then we'll just compare that again. So let's just do this at the same time. So we'll move these around, move them up here. Very similar. I'd say the fire is a little bit better performance wise there. Let's change tabs. Back to missiles, pretty similar, begin scan. Oh, I missed there. Pretty similar there as well. And we could do our decoys, button presses, very similar, ESP toggles. A Little bit faster on the Fire. So I'd recommend the Fire 10 over an older Samsung device, I think. So now that's out of the way, let's compare this, which I would take this Fire 10 Let's compare that to an Apple product. So here we've got an older iPad. This is, oh boy, um, I think three or four years old. So you can see the bezels are, are pretty decent here. So um, just bear with me as we try to get this all lined up. Okay, so yeah, so this is an older Apple device, but I still think this will be a good demonstration. Let's try to move this over there. That should be all right. Okay, so we'll do the same thing. We'll move the capacitors. As you can see, the iPad on the right here is really smooth. And reset. I'll do that one more time. We'll go up and reset. Okay, and then we'll switch to turrets. Missed that on this one. This is actually quite difficult. Nope, missed it again. One more try. There we go. And now I got it on this one, not the other one. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Okay. Pretty similar there, I'd say. Uh, scanning. I would say very similar there as well. Press our decoys. Very similar toggles. I would say very similar there as well. Now when it comes to navigation, let's go back. Very similar and we'll go to avionics. Uh, iPad definitely wins there. So that's obviously a step above. So I would say if you can get a, an iPad that can be updated to current versions, I, I don't think this one actually can, but um, so far, the iPad definitely has the best performance, uh, but of course, you know, budget-wise, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars cheaper with the Fire. So then, if we compare the better-performing iPad there, and this is probably completely pointless, but then we've got an iPad Pro M1. And really, I don't know if there's any reason to even show you the iPad because you'll just see the performance difference in something like this. Um, I would not suggest getting anything like this unless you have so much money, it's burning a hole in your pocket, or you are gonna be using it for other things as well. Um, so, I mean, you can see the capacitor triangle here. It's just smooth as could be. Uh, you can see scanning, instant, tabs, instant, shields, instant, uh, toggles, almost instant and then navigation I mean that's almost instant for switching shards as well so if you want top of the line iPad Pros are great but they definitely break the bank so um, yeah so that sums it up um, I would rank the best budget tablet for sure would be the newer Kindle Fire uh, the 10 inch which is this guy here I would say that's Probably your best bet when it comes to value and performance is this new Kindle Fire. It does a really good job. And the 10-inch screen is good too because it gives you lots of room. Um, 
you got bigger fingers, it definitely is helpful there. Um, and then I would say the, if you can get an older iPad, that would probably be the next. Um, and then if you have unlimited cash, uh, the iPad Pro is a great option. But there's a bunch of other good Android tablets that have come out as well that are probably worth looking at. But hopefully this can give you a baseline idea of how things perform. And keep in mind, this is all subject to change. We are constantly doing our best to optimize these as we go. So um, the idea is that at one point we would love to have the Fire 7s performing just as well as they did with our legacy shards and our legacy technology. So, um, so that sums it up for this video. Hope that helps.